That looks great, guys. I think we're about ready to get started. Hi, I'm Carol. And this is Heather. Hi. And this is Jack. Hi. And we're the SWAT team. That stands for straight, white, attractive teeth. You mean we don't get to fight the bad guys? Not exactly. We're here to talk about a very important subject, keeping your teeth, gums, and braces clean during your orthodontic treatment. Yeah, before I got my braces, I used to think all I had to do to get a great smile was to go to my orthodontic appointments. And that's important, but it's definitely not enough. As I learned when I had my braces, getting the most out of treatment is the result of teamwork. That's right. It's really a partnership. Your orthodontist plays a part, your dentist plays a part, and so does your hygienist. But the biggest role in this partnership is yours, the patient. Now that you've got braces, you need to pay special attention to keeping them clean, along with your teeth and gums. By keeping your teeth, gums, and braces clean, the amount of time that you need to wear braces will be as short as possible, and your smile will be as healthy and beautiful as it can be. So it's our job to help you and your team. Let's get started by taking a look at some of the products that will help keep your teeth, gums, and braces clean. Wow, look at all this stuff. Brushing your teeth should really be called cleaning your mouth because when you eat something, it gets in between your teeth and in your braces and coats your entire mouth. So to get started, use an acceptable toothpaste and a toothbrush that's in good condition. Braces can wear out your toothbrush fast, so make sure you replace it when it starts to show signs of wearing out because a worn out toothbrush just won't clean your teeth right. The basics of brushing with braces are very similar to brushing without braces. Jack, why don't you head over to the sink and show us how it's done? Sure. Now here's what you need to do. Clean your braces all the way around the chewing surfaces. And make sure you clean the back sides of your teeth thoroughly too. Based on the kind of braces you're wearing, your orthodontist and staff members will give you specific brushing instructions. Make sure you understand and follow these instructions very carefully. Most people do a great job of brushing their chewing surfaces and braces, but to completely remove food from around your braces, we encourage you to also gently brush your gum tissue. In addition to your gums, make sure you gently brush the roof of your mouth and your tongue. This will help remove food particles from your whole mouth, and it'll help keep your breath fresher. Not a bad idea. Next, you need to rinse your mouth after brushing. Swish the water all around your mouth and teeth. Then, look closely at your teeth and braces to make sure they're spotless. I always did this part in front of a mirror in a room with lots of light. Besides the normal toothbrush you use at home, you can get one of these cool travel toothbrushes to take with you to school. My mom and I found a blue one. That's my favorite color. <laughs> well, when I wore braces, there were times when I was at school that I didn't really have time to brush after lunch. That's also true for older patients like me at work. I wore braces up until two years ago, and, and a toothbrush like that made brushing more convenient. Even if I didn't brush with toothpaste, brushing with water helped to clear out the food from between my teeth and braces. And if I don't have a toothbrush with me at school, I always make sure to rinse my mouth out with water so I can brush. All right. You go, Jack. Flossing is one of the most important parts of taking care of your teeth when you're wearing braces. And so when you floss with braces on, you may need to use what's called a floss threader. Looks like a slingshot I used to have. Well, only this lets you floss underneath your wires. Do you want to show us, Jack? Sure. Just cut off about 18 inches of floss, like this, and loop it through your threader, like this. Run the threader under your wire between two brackets, and holding one end of the floss, gently pull the threader off. Now you can loop the ends of the floss around your index fingers, forming a C. Gently floss between your teeth as you normally would, making sure to carefully clean along and under your gum line on both sides. After you finish between those two teeth, just pull the floss through, re-thread the floss through the loop, and repeat the process between your next pair of teeth. This may seem hard, but it's very important. And take it from me, a little practice will make it go a lot faster. Another important tool is called an interproximal brush. 
This brush is designed to slip under wire to get the gunk around your brackets and can even help you clean between your teeth. Even with thorough brushing, your regular toothbrush can't reach completely around your brackets. And it's in these areas the plaque will accumulate. You should use your interproximal brush at least once a day. Your orthodontist, dentist, or dental hygienist may recommend some of the following aids to help you keep your teeth clean. Fluoride toothpaste or fluoride rinse. Use as a part of your cleaning routine if prescribed by your orthodontist. A power toothbrush, such as a Sonicare Elite and water irrigator. These tools are designed to help with brushing and cleaning. Ask your orthodontist if they'd be helpful for your treatment. And there are always new products being developed to help orthodontic patients clean their teeth and braces. Ask your doctor if any new products will help you with your daily dental hygiene. If you have any questions about how to use these products, don't be shy. Ask anyone on your own SWAT team, your doctor, dentist, or hygienist to explain. Your orthodontist may also recommend the use of a disclosing tablet that will help you see any spots you might have missed with your toothbrush. You might have to brush and rinse two or three times before all the plaque is gone. I know, this sounds hard, but you really need to do it to get all the plaque from your teeth. What's the big deal about this plaque stuff anyway? Good question, Jack. Let's ask the doctor to talk about plaque and about serious problems that can happen if you don't take care of your teeth, gums, and braces during orthodontic treatment. Doctor? Thanks, team. As we've said before, good dental hygiene is especially important for orthodontic patients. Taking care of your teeth, gums, and braces during your treatment produces the best results. Now, if you don't take care of them, you could end up with bad breath, swollen, bleeding gums, and permanently stained teeth. Permanently stained teeth. You see, plaque is the real problem. Plaque is a sticky, colorless film that constantly forms and collects on your teeth and braces. It's made of bacteria, food particles, and saliva. Plaque reacts with sugars and starches in food to form an acid that can attack the enamel on your teeth. You need to remove plaque by brushing and flossing as instructed by your orthodontist. If you allow plaque to accumulate around your braces, it can cause cavities, or even worse, it can leave permanent stains on your teeth when your braces are removed. This damage is called decalcification. And these lines and spots will remain on your teeth for the rest of your life. Rest of your life. Plaque buildup on your teeth and around your braces can cause irritation and swelling of your gums and cause them to bleed. This is the first stage of gum disease and is called gingivitis. gingivitis. Over time, if this is not taken care of, it can lead to periodontal disease, which can lead to tooth loss. Now, as scary as these conditions are, the simple truth is that you can keep them from happening. Just take good care of your teeth, gums, and braces during your orthodontic treatment. Brush and floss regularly, and see your dentist for a cleaning and checkup at least every six months, or more often if recommended. That's all there is to it. You'll preserve your teeth and get that healthy, beautiful smile that you, your orthodontist, and your dentist are working for. Does that answer your question, Jack? Sure does, Doc. Those pictures sure were gross, though. <laughs> and the last thing we need to talk about is food. There are some do's and don'ts you need to follow while you're in treatment. Stay away from anything that's hard, sticky, or chewy. And don't chew on pens or pencils. Chewing on them can break your wires and damage your braces. And broken braces could mean you'd have to wear your braces longer than planned. When in doubt, you can always ask your orthodontist about foods and snacks that might damage your braces. We recommend that you not eat any crunchy foods that might damage your braces or bend your wires, Heather. If you eat crunchy foods, cut them up in small pieces and never chew ice, Jack. It's much too hard on your teeth, even without braces. Wow, we sure have covered a lot of ground here. Let's recap. Good idea. Be sure to brush after every meal and brush and clean thoroughly before bed. Remember to carefully remove all the plaque from your teeth and braces. Be sure to floss at least once a day to prevent plaque from accumulating between your teeth and around the brackets. Use any special products like brushes, mouthwash, and fluoride mouth rinse if your orthodontist recommends them. Make sure you rinse thoroughly after brushing. Inspect your teeth closely in front of a well-lit mirror to make sure they're spotless. And don't eat sticky, sugary stuff. And stay away from hard foods that can hurt your braces. And be sure to see your dentist at least once every six months or more often if recommended. And remember that successful orthodontic treatment Straight, white, attractive teeth takes complete SWAT teamwork between your orthodontist, family dentist, hygienist, and you. Those other folks may have the technical expertise, but it's really up to you to play your part and take care of your teeth, gums, and braces during treatment. 
Follow the areas we covered in this video, and in no time, you'll have a healthy, beautiful smile that's good for life. Good luck. Bye. See ya.